Good morning, church. This is your monthly mission moment of February 2024. This morning, I highlight Ann Clemmer's most recent update. Ann often writes about the challenges faced by those who live near Goma, where they serve. Volcanic eruptions, outbreaks of Ebola, constant threats from militia groups in the surrounding hills. There are also hundreds of children who live on the street in the city of Goma, their home in Eastern Congo. Many are orphans, parents killed by the militia, or succumb to disease, others abandoned by their families, unable to care for them. They are ever present in the streets, sleeping on the sidewalks, begging for food at car windows, ragged and thin. Bill and Ann moved to Goma in 2016 and passed these children every day on their way to work. They would glance at them, thinking, how sad, and then continue on their way. After the volcanic eruption of 2021, many of these children came to Sunday school, desperate for clothing, something to eat, and shelter. As Ann and Bill prayed about how to help them with their limited resources, they simply started with what they had, like food and clothing. In short time, God provided funding for a new building for full-time day program, and then additional funding for a transit shelter at night. They named the program Enfants Bien Aimés, or Beloved Children, just as God sees them. The program has been running for over a year and continues to bless not just the children, but also Anne and Bill. Now, as they drive through the streets of Goma, it's different. Anne sees them, not as a reminder of the violence, diseases, or conflicts, but as children who God dearly loves and challenges Anne and Bill to love them the same. In Luke 7, there is a story of a woman overcome by grief and sin, kneeling behind Jesus, and wetting his feet with her tears. Jesus turned to Simon and asked, do you see this woman? He wasn't asking Simon to reflect on the circumstances of her anguish, but rather to look at her, the one at his feet. He simply asked, Simon, do you see her? As Anne and Bill drove through the city streets when they first arrived, she saw with her eyes the plight of the children and the sadness at the circumstances which had befallen them. But she did not see them as God wanted her to. Now it is with her heart that Anne sees. Her heart aches when she sees them, homeless, abandoned, hungry, and cold. Anne says, I imagine this is what Jesus intended for Simon to see, the woman, not the sin or her circumstances. Elroy, one of the Hebrew names for God, literally means the God who sees me. What a comfort to know that our Creator sees us. But He also asks us to open our eyes and see with our hearts those we encounter along our paths. Last month, Pastor Eric challenged us to live out our church's mission. Anne's letter encourages the same thing. Let's open our eyes and see others with our hearts as the Lord does, children of God. Let's love others and lead them into a life-changing relationship with Jesus Christ.